Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Watching these two areas, we have Tropical Storm Jerry. We also have this area in the Bay of Campeche. Really not a big deal with that. You can see it's only has a 10% chance, and that's basically working its way right towards Mexico. So we're really going to focus in on Jerry. Now, yesterday, Jerry was actually looking pretty impressive by satellite. We were seeing that that fanning effect and all the quadrants. So it was telling us that it was in an atmosphere that was very conducive for development. It had the low wind shear and it was starting to look more and more organized. Now today looking a little different and hurricane reconnaissance plane. They're flying in the system. They're getting a lot of that information as well. And what we're finding is the wind shear has really increased over this system. So you do see that area of convection with this. But the one thing you may notice is yesterday it was a much more symmetrical looking system. You're not seeing that symmetrical looking system today. You still have that dry air sitting to the north and east of the system. So that's not really a big problem for the system. But as you zoom in, you can see where the center is. It's right there, so this is racing on towards the west northwest, so it's moving very fast, and then it has the winds in the upper level of the levels of the atmosphere, which are blowing against this, and so you're getting that wind shear. So it is a very lopsided storm where all the convection has been pushed off on the one side, and that center is now racing out from under the convection. It's, it's not a well organized system at this point. So it's going to struggle a little bit. It looks like over the next several days, but winds have somehow increased to 60 miles an hour. Uh, it is moving to the west northwest at 23 miles an hour. So still a very quick moving storm. Track really hasn't changed all that much. Uh, maybe taking a little bit longer to actually become a hurricane. It looks like it'll be sometime as we head into Friday, Friday morning, and then basically maintains that hurricane status right around a category one, making that turn towards the north, still fine tuning that. But really at this point, it's looking like this is going to be more and more likely that it passes to the east of Bermuda and then curves back out over the open water. So you look at the various computer models and you're seeing much more agreement pushing in that basically that fashion to the east of Bermuda. You always have a couple of those outliers in there, but eventually uh, working its way back out over open portions of the Atlantic. So here what we're looking at is the European model in white. We've got the GFS in red and our own Fox model in green. Now I was showing this yesterday and we had a, a really big spread between all these different models. Now today you're still seeing a spread, but what we're looking at is a lot of time you're looking towards the trends as we get more and more consensus, meaning we're getting better agreement among the models. We're getting more confidence that a scenario like this is going to happen. It tells us as we look at all the different factors in the atmosphere that they're, they're meaning less and less that we're going to basically all steer towards that same basic idea and we're starting to resolve a lot of di the different factors in the atmosphere. So that's what uh, model consensus tells us is we're starting to really account for all the different things in the atmosphere. And so we're really leading towards a much more correct solution. Basically, the idea is we have this developing nor'easter, which is going to be working its way up the east coast. So you've got this trough that really protects the US. That's why we're not concerned here along the US coastline that we have a system heading in our direction. And then we get that weakness in the ridge, which basically opens up that path for that storm to work its way on towards the north. And that's what will basically be steering Jerry away from the US as we head uh, through the end of the week and into the weekend. Here we are looking at that one area down across the Bay of Campeche. You can see a very big cluster of showers and storms, but really no organization with this. This will bring some pretty heavy rains across Mexico as we head through the next couple of days. So we will continue to track all this right here on myfoxhurricane.com.